will complete fast and you will read. Every device must have an IP address to communicate in the network. That is a rule number one, right? Every device must have an IP address to communicate in the network. You can assign an IP address either manually can assign or automatically you can assign an IP address. Okay. You can assign IP address manually or automatically. Manually means you can go to the adapter, right? You can go to the adapter. How to go to ncpa.cpl in Windows? ncpa.cpl. Can you see this is an adapter? And I have another uh, adapter. Some are physical, some are virtual adapters. So this is my adapter. And see the details of an adapter. So it is something showing it is not a correct IP address. I want to send IP address manually. Okay. So I'll go to the IPv4 properties. Okay. And there it is. Use the following IP address. Here I can able to assign IP address. So if you see this one, there is a few things which is in the details. Look at here. So there is two options, guys. Obtain IP address automatically. Use following IP address. Use following IP address means you are configuring manually. Obtain IP address automatically. It means you will get an IP address from DHCP server. You need a DHCP server in the network. So then you will get an IP address. Okay. So again, use following IP address means you have to give IP address subnet mask. Default gateway, what is your default gateway? That is you have to specify if it is there. If you have a default gateway in your network, you have to specify it. If you have a DNS server in the network, you can specify it. Okay. Otherwise, you can use some uh, default DNS server addresses like a 4.4.4.4, a dot a dot a dot eight in the DNS, like this a dot eight dot eight dot. It 4.4.4.4. Okay, you want to do some additional configuration like extra DNS servers or extra IP address kind of stuff in a central. Okay, so if you are want to configure manually, you have to choose use the following IP address. You have to specify IP address, subnet mask. You have a default gateway specified. If you have a DNS server. Have to specify it. How to go? Go to ncpa.cpl. So PA. ncpa.cpl. Then open the adapter. Which adapter you want to do it? Double click. Check IP address with the details. Then go to the properties. Then this window will open. Click on this IPv4, then properties and choose. Choose the following IP address for manual configuration. Really, we can see this. So it is. I'm giving some IP address, uh, for example, 10 dot, uh, 12 dot, 0 dot, 9, something I can give. See, when I press the tab button, automatically subnet mask is came. The default one is showing. For example, I have a default gateway. I can mention my default gateway. Like this. In case I have a DNS server in my network, I will mention that one also. If I have it, I can mention. Otherwise, I will leave it. And click OK. Close. Close and see the details. See, IP address is configured as a given. If you see there, guys, 
DHCP enabled? No. DHCP enabled? No. What is that meaning? DHCP enabled no means this IP addresses configured manually. When you check the IP address, how to check IP address? Same ncpa.cpl. Go to your adapter, double click, details. You will see your IP address. See this? No. Means IP address configured manually. Okay, you guys understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In this one, this is auto configuration. Details, you can see the details. Okay, this is actual adapter. If I do anything wrong with this one, and I will get a problem. So we will disconnect, that's it. CS. Yes means what? IP address configured. DHCP. Can you see there is an IP address? Subnet mask. Default gateway. DNS server address. DHCP server address. Also. Okay. So what I then just I go to details. I see the DHCP enabled S means this IP address I didn't assign. I got the IP address from DHCP server. And who is my DHCP server? Can you see this is my DHCP server? Okay, this is my DHCP server address. Where is your DHCP server? What is your DHCP server address? Who is your DHCP server? 172.16.192.1.1. This is my DHCP server address. Who is my DHCP server? Okay, in my network, my router act like a DHCP server. I do not have any DHCP server directly as a server. In your home also, you do not have it a separate DHCP server, right? You have Wi-Fi router. Your Wi-Fi router is act like a DHCP server, which can send an IP address to you. When you are connected to it, you will get an IP address automatically because it is act like a DHCP server. You can observe my default gateway, my DHCP server, DNS server. These are all same numbers only. It means it's my default gateway. It is my, my router itself act like a default gateway, DHCP and DNS server. Okay, how I know it is from my DHCP server. First thing is DHCP enable S. Yes. Second one is DHCP server address. Another one is lease duration. These three things by understand I will I got an IP address from correct DHCP server. Uh, you, if you can want to go to the properties also you can try go to the properties IPv4 right IPv4 select properties so which option by default it is there obtain IP address automatically it means you know, you cannot give any IP address there. You have to get an IP address from the DHCP server. Of course, you can give alternate one, but don't do that one. So right now, I'm not doing anything. So obtain IP address automatically. It means get an IP address, search for the DHCP server and get an IP address from it. I don't want to change anything because we will disconnect it. This one, uh, it is yes, but it targeting anything. <laughs> okay. What is manual configuration, guys? Configure IP address to the network adapter manually. So if you configure manually, that IP we call it as static IP. It means the static IP address cannot be changed itself. If you change the network also, it won't update it automatically. You have to change it manually. 
or you have to convert into uh, automatically. Manual IP addresses means static IP addresses cannot be changed automatically. Automatic, you can uh, get an IP address from DHCP server. It will assign an IP address to you or it will configure an IP address to your devices. In our home, we have we have a router which is act like a our DHCP server. Also, you can use Windows servers or Linux server for, as a DHCP server. You got an IP address automatically from DHCP server means the IP address is called a dynamic IP address. These dynamic IP addresses will change itself by changing of network. If other network having a DHCP server, it gives an IP address. For example, my main connectivity Wi-Fi adapter I shown that is obtain IP address automatically, dynamic IP it is. I was, I am currently in the office. I am in the office, right? I am getting an IP address from my office router, DHCP server. Once session is completed, I went to my home once. Today, time is completed. Okay, like 6, 6, 30, I completed. Then I go to home. Once I go home, if I need to do some work, I will open my laptop, I will start. Then, I will get another IP address from my, my home Wi-Fi router. It act like a DHCP server, so I will get an IP address to my adapter. Same way for my mobile phone. When I was in my office, when I connected to their Wi-Fi router, so I will get an IP address from the router. When I go to home, so again, I will connect it to my home Wi-Fi router. I will get another IP address. That's it is called a dynamic IP, automatic dynamic IP address. Why it is? Because it changes automatically when you change the network. So based on the network DHCP server, you'll get an IP address. Guys, understand difference between manual and automatic? Yes, sir. Okay. Of course, there is a problems are there in the manual and as well as an automatic. What are the problems? I didn't write here, but I will tell just generally we, you will understand. Not everyone knows how to assign IP address, right? So I know how to assign IP address, but still how to know which IP address is available to assign. Because you should not assign same IP address for two, three devices. Okay, same IP you should not give it to two, three devices. Two or more devices you cannot give. Only one device, one IP address. Same IP address should not be repeated. And you should know the network, even if you know the IP address. More number of devices. I have a hundred computers are there. You have to assign an IP address to hundred computers. Go one by one. It is very difficult. So, if more number of devices increases, difficult to assign an IP address. It is a possibility of wrong IP address entrance. Entering wrong IP address. Possibility. Conflicts may occur. Conflicts may occur means two or more devices having same IP address. It is conflicts, IP conflict. Okay. So, and not everyone knows how to assign an IP address. For every device, it's not much easy to assign IP address manually. For computers, laptops, you can easily assign an IP address. But nowadays, we have other devices like a smart printers, uh, smart TVs, this mobile phone, tablets, uh, uh, this uh, other uh, plugs are there, you know, smart plugs, smart uh, um, assistants. So a lot of network connecting devices or it's not much easy to assign IP address like that, okay? And you change the network, IP address won't change automatically. Again, you have to change IP address uh, manually, okay? So that is the problem with the manual one. So what is the advantage of uh, automatic assignment? So we have a DHCP server, either as a Windows or Linux server, or you can 
your Wi-Fi router act like a DHCP switch. Not everyone required to know how to assign an IP address. More number of devices you want to assign an IP address without uh, um, um, conflicts of IP address or wrong IP address entrance, it is best practice with the automatic type. Means get an IP address from DHCP server. Okay, so that is the main advantage of DHCP server. DHCP server assign an IP address to the clients automatically or configure IP address to the client PCs automatically. Okay, so in a Windows, we can go to this control panel. So I'm going to control panel. Network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings, change adapter settings. There you will go to the adapter part. Okay. Or you can go to the ncpa.cpl. We can do the configuration. So I already showed ncpa.cpl. So open the adapter. Which adapter you want to configure IP address? Check the IP address of existing one. You want to change it? Go to the properties here. And here it is IPv4. Then go to the properties again and change the IP address. So I am giving some other IP address if you want it, or otherwise same IP address you can configure. Okay, if you, your adapter is in this position, means obtain IP address automatically, obtain DNS server address automatically. It means you are telling to your adapter that is get an IP address, connected DHCP server from your connected DHCP server, get an IP address. Or you want to configure manually means you have to select use of following IP address and give an IP address as you want it. Okay, then I click here. So it is subnet mask is by default. Remaining is as per your network, you have to configure it. Okay, just I'm configuring just what I wanted because it's no loss in it. Later I can change it if I want. I send an IP address. Then see this manually as an IP address. This is how to assign an IP address. If you select obtain IP address automatically means it's a you are telling get IP address from DHCP. If you select use following IP address means you have to configure IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, prefer DNS server alternate DNS servers based on your system and network you have to give. How to an IP address automatically? That is again, do you have that much space here? Now we have. Okay, this is a signing of IP address. Then how to check IP address? Double click on the adapter. Details, you will find an IP address. If up DHCP enable S represent IP address configured automatically by a DHCP server, and you have to look at DHCP server address also. Compulsory check the DHCP server address. Not only yes. No, if it is showing no, DHCP enabled no means IP address configured manually. Check you got an IP address, correct IP address or not. Okay. Of course, you can use a command called IP configs and IP config space all. Both I commands are there. So uh, you can get it from IP address, IP config, and IP config. Uh, find out the difference between IP config and IP config all also. Okay. Understand, guys, how to 
configure IP address uh, and uh, how to check IP address. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, that's it for today. Uh, uh, tomorrow we'll discuss a uh, few points about uh, devices also there uh, because I don't know what it is completed. OSC model and devices and how to connect it to devices and how to test connectivity between the devices. Okay, different protocols. So once we complete that one, we'll jump to other services kind of stuff. That's it for today, guys. Also read what are the material I shared. So then this is helpful for you. Yes, sir. Sir, how many days syllabus is minimum again? 